Welcome to the FECO tour. This tour is an introduction to the features and wide range of applications of FECO. FECO is developed by EMSS with offices in South Africa, the USA, Germany and China. FECO is globally distributed and supported through a worldwide network of representatives. What is FECO? FECO is a state-of-the-art electromagnetic simulation tool. Numerical methods are used to simulate real-world applications. FECO provides several numerical methods, each suited to a specific class of applications. FECO is applicable to radiation, coupling, scattering and waveguide problems. Such applications range from geometrically complex to electrically large. No single numerical method can handle the whole range of applications efficiently, which is why FECO offers a range of methods. FECO provides the method of moments and the finite element method for geometrically complex applications. FECO provides the multi-level fast multiple method, physical optics, geometrical optics and uniform theory of diffraction for electrically large applications. FECO further provides hybrid combinations of these methods to solve problems which are both large and complex, which are not solvable with any method on its own. FECO offers a sophisticated GUI which supports both Windows and Linux operating systems. The FECO GUI consists of three components, CAD FECO, Edit FECO and Post FECO, with easy workflow. CAD FECO is used for geometry modeling and to set up the solution. CAD FECO has comprehensive parametric CAD creation features. CAD models can be imported and exported. CAD healing features can be used to repair imported CAD. And meshes can also be imported. Edit FECO is aimed at advanced users offering a scripting interface to the solver. It includes conditional statements and loops. PostVECO provides a graphical post-processing environment. Numerical results can be compared with imported measured data. Numerical results, graphs and images can be exported. Adaptive Frequency Sampling In FECO, a problem is solved at the specified excitation frequency. A frequency response can be obtained by regular sampling over a frequency range. However, this can be very time-consuming. Adaptive frequency sampling provides a very efficient alternative. The AFS approach is based on sparse sampling with intelligent interpolation. AFS reduces the number of required samples dramatically and yields a continuous frequency response result. Cable coupling analysis. FECO can be used to evaluate the coupling between arbitrary structures and cable bundles. Fields for coupling from external geometry are rigorously modeled with the MOM, while the cable bundles are modeled with multiconductor transmission line theory. FECO supports various standard cables and user-defined cable bundle configurations. The FECO solver is fully parallelized. It is optimized to make full use of multi-core CPUs. It is optimized to fully exploit multi-CPU shared memory resources and is often used on large-scale clusters. FECO supports graphics processing unit-based acceleration for certain solution phases. And finally, FECO offers an optimized out-of-core solver to make efficient use of secondary storage when RAM limits are reached with large problems. Now for a demonstration of the FECO suite. In this demonstration, we will show how to create and analyze a L-band horn antenna. We will start by using CAD FECO, which is the graphical user interface for model setup in FECO. CAD FECO opens with the Construct tab and we work through the tabs starting from left to right. The horn is designed for the L-band, so we will work in centimeters. Click on Model Unit and set the unit to centimeters. To create the waveguide of the horn, we will use a cuboid. We choose the second definition method and change the default dimensions of the cuboid as shown.
Note, we use mathematical expressions, but if we want a parametric model, we can also use variables. Set the label to Waveguide and click Create. On the View tab, click on Zoom to Extents to see the whole cuboid. Next, we use the Flare primitive to create the flare of the horn. First, go to the Work Plane tab and use Control shift to snap the work plane's origin to the face center of the cuboid as shown. Then go back to the Geometry tab and snap to the two edges of the cuboid to enter the bottom width and bottom depth. Then enter the rest of the dimensions manually. Then again on the View tab, click on Zoom to Extents. To ensure proper connection between the different parts, we must make a union of the parts. Select all the parts in the tree and on the Construct tab, click on Union Parts. The aperture of the horn must be opened. Select the face shown, right click and delete. Do the same with the face at the junction between the waveguide and flare. The geometry needs no transformation, so we skip the Transform tab. The horn will be excited with the waveguide port. Ports and excitations are found under the Source Load tab. Click on Waveguide Port and flip the horn on its back. Click on the back face of the waveguide in the 3D view. Now add and close. We then add a waveguide excitation on this port by clicking on Waveguide Excitation. We only want the fundamental mode excited, so we use the default settings. The frequency must still be set. Click on Frequency and set a single frequency of 1.645 GHz. Now change to the default view again by clicking on Isometric and Zoom to Extents. The next stage of the model setup is the Output Requests. On the Request tab, click on Near Fields. We will use a Cartesian coordinate system. Enter the start and end coordinates, as well as the number of field points, as shown. A preview of the requested near field points is shown in blue before we click Create. Also request far fields. Click on 3D pattern for a quick selection and Create. We can hide the field requests by right-clicking on them and selecting Show Hide. The model is symmetric with respect to the XZ and YZ planes. This step is of course not necessary, but we exploit this characteristic of the model to save computational resources. On the Solve Run tab, click on Symmetry and set the symmetry as shown. The symmetry setting is of course dependent on the excitation and geometry. We are now ready to mesh the horn. On the Mesh menu, click on Create Mesh. We select a standard mesh. CAD Vico meshes the geometry according to the wavelength. Users are advised to familiarize themselves with the meshing guidelines as given in the Vico user's manual. Now we can run Vico from the Solve Run tab. Feco provides a standard output during the solution process. It is important to note any errors or warnings. They must be corrected by going back to CAD Feco. Once Feco has finished, we must run Post Feco for post processing. We will be viewing the near fields in the aperture of the horn. To better view the horn, we switch off the display of symmetry on the display tab. Now on the home tab, click on near field and select Near Field 1. If we want to see a graph of the far fields, first select the type of graph. This will be Cartesian. Then click on Far Field and select Far Field 1. To wrap the graph, on the result palette on the right, for independent axis select Theta Wrapped. And to obtain the graph in DB, scroll down and select DB. To view the other principal plane pattern cut, right-click on the Far Field 1 trace and select Duplicate Trace. 
Then change the phi angle for the second trace to 90 degrees. To see a polar graph, go to the Display tab and select Polar Copy. This concludes the Ficker tour. For more information, please visit the Ficker website.